Hello everyone and welcome back to Art Incorporated. Today we're going to be talking about fall and fall leaves. So fall is a time of change. It takes us from the summer, the hot months, into winter, our coldest months. Um, and there are a lot of things change during this time, such as the trees lose their leaves, the leaves also change color, and the weather gets a lot colder. But before we do our activity, we are going to read Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. Fletcher and the Falling Leaves by Julia Rawlison and pictures by Tiffany B. The world is changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounded out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold, and the soft swishing sound of summer was fading to a crinkly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree looked dull, dry, and brown. Fletcher was beginning to get worried. I think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it? his mother asked. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. Don't worry, it's only autumn, she said. Fletcher ran back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll be feeling better soon. But the tree didn't get better. Each day, more leaves turned brown. One morning, the wind blew a small brown leaf off of a branch. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently in his paw. Don't worry, tree. I've got your leaf. I'll fix you. Fletcher looked around, picked a piece of grass, and carefully tied the leaf to a branch. Just then, another gust of wind ruffled Fletcher's, Fletcher's fur. The little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground. Fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard. Then he poked the leaf into a twig and pushed it down firmly. Now you hold on tight, he said. No more flying around. The little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. The next day, a strong wind was blowing through the forest. Fletcher rushed out the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of branches were bare, and a li little lost leaves spun everywhere. Don't worry, tree. I'll catch them for you, I promise, said Fletcher. Round and round and round, whirled Fletcher after the swirling leaves. Leaves, wonderful. Just what I need for my nest, said a squirrel. But they belong to the tree, said Fletcher. Don't take them away. The tree doesn't need them anymore, said the squirrel, bounding off. Help, help! The wind and the squirrel are stealing our leaves, said, said Fletcher. Leaves, terrific, just what I need to keep warm, said a porcupine, rolling around. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher, plucking leaves from the porcupine's needles. Not anymore, snuffled the porcupine, and away he rolled. Help, help! The wind and the squirrel and the porcupine are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Suddenly, a flock of friendly birds swooped down from the sky. They picked up the leaves in their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon, the tree was leafy again, and Fletcher flopped down and smiled. Thank you, birds, thank you, he gasped at the bird, as the birds fluttered away. He lay looking up through the leaves at the sky and drifted off to sleep. But the wind continued to blow and the branches still danced. The leaves shivered and shook themselves and began to wiggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fletcher's ears and nose and filled his dreams with a whispering sound. When Fletcher finally woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, all he could see were bare branches against the sky. Oh, tree, I am so sorry, gulped Fletcher. All your leaves are gone. But then he saw, high in the branches, one small leaf still holding on. I won't let the wind steal that one, said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He crawled along to the last leaf and held it firmly onto his branch. All day long, the wind blew, the branch bounced, and Fletcher held tight. I'll stay with you, leaf, he said. Don't worry. But then, with a sudden whoosh of wind, the branch bounced high. With a blip, the leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf. He had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and back to the den. He made a cozy little bed for it and gently tucked it in. But all night long, he could only think of his tree, all on its own. At dawn, Fletcher tiptoed outside. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was cold. The moon still hung in the clear sky and the pale stars glimmered. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. 
tree was hung with a thousand icicles, shining silver in the early light. You are more beautiful than ever, whispered Fletcher. But are you all right? The tiny breeze shivered the branches, making a sound like laughter. And in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Fletcher gave his tree a hug. Then he went back to the den for a nice warm breakfast. The end. So we could see in Fletcher's story how the leaves changed. So the tree had green leaves and it was holding on to them very tight. And then as it got colder, the leaves started to change colors like this. So leaves go through a, a change during fall where they start to change to different colors. They can start at green and go all the way down to red. And some don't change all at the same time. So it starts just by a little bit and then it grows and grows and grows. And this happens because in leaves, there's something called chlorophyll that makes them green. And as the tree stops producing the chlorophyll, it changes the colors. So today we are going to be making our own fall leaf. So for this activity, you will need a white piece of paper, some thin cardboard, some scissors, and fall leaf color paints. So I have yellow and green and orange, and then I have some red over here too. And we are going to do a technique where we scrape paint onto our painting. So what I'm going to do first, and I'm actually going to get a pencil, and I'm going to draw out my own fall leaf on here. You can draw your own fall leaf, you can print out a picture, that is all up to you. Then we are going to put paint on the paper and we're going to scrape it down over the picture using the cardboard. So I have my marker. And I'm just going to draw a very simple leaf. So I'm just making like two C's and they're going to touch each other. Like this one. I'm going to give it a little stem. And you can give yours little veins if you want to. Like I said, you can also print out your own picture if you don't want to draw your own. Here's my leaf. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tad bit of paint just at the top above my leaf. You don't need too much, just like a little dot. I have a little bit of green. Let's do a little bit of orange. going to smush it down and pull that paint across my leaf. My leaf looks like this in the end. And you can do this a bunch of different times with different leaf shapes if you want to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today. Thank you for joining me for Art Incorporated and we'll see you again soon. Bye!